us as a dreamer. And why shouldn't we be? It's a great, big, beautiful world out there. But the truth is, we don't all follow our fantasies making them a reality. Because oftentimes, it takes just a little while longer than we'd like to get there. Just remember, reaching your dreams takes work. Taking care of animals can be a lifelong commitment. But if you're truly serious about it, like my friend Kyle, who you're about to meet is about crocodilians, that daily sweat and time is what makes the achievement all the more satisfying. It's a big world full of dreamers out there, and we're all just waiting for one thing. The moment when we take that one giant leap. Today, Kyle takes one of those leaps. What's happening? I'm hanging out with my friend Kyle at his crocodile facility. And uh, we got some new additions, man. Let's show them what we got, bud. One, two, three Nile crocodiles. It's gonna be a good day today. There are two things I've loved most in this life, bikes and reptiles. Now I crisscross the globe learning about all kinds of incredible animals. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. Other times, I'm in over right, my head. Wrong. But one thing's for certain, we'll come away a whole lot smarter after every adventure. This is Camp Kennedy. All right, so we're gonna pull this, uh, this is a female, right? This is, this is a big female. All right, dude, we're gonna pull her out. We have some good friends of ours that made some very nice trades. <laughs> Troy. Craig. Craig, thanks, Craig. We need your, all right, here we go. Skills. Here we go. Oh. Just gonna get her right. Still enclosed. Most of the weight's gonna be back here. Yeah, yeah. All the way. Make no mistake about it, caring for adult crocodiles is no joke. You've got to worry about these animals' habitat, their veterinary care, their dietary care. Right, ready? Let's yeah. not forget, they're Nile crocodiles. One wrong move, and you're on the menu. Kyle's been working with crocodiles for 15 years, and this facility here, he's thought of everything. Believe me, he's something of a mad scientist engineer with the way he's got things figured out. Just wait until it's complete. So excited. Back here and we can... Yep. This sheet's heavy. Ready? Yep. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, okay. Is there a crocodile there? There is. Yep. That's a big female, man. Very big female. She's almost you, 10 feet. That's a big old gal. Come on. There you go. Good job. First one down. All right, two more to go. And isn't that amazing? So that, that water is about how deep? It's about two feet right now. Two foot deep, that animal is gone. And that's why those animals in Africa are amazing ambush predators, man. Because they'll lay in wait, wildebeest, gazelle, human being come down to the river. More people are eaten by Nile crocodiles than any other crocodile in the world. You because never guess they're there. Yeah, look at, this. look at this. But they're there. Let's go get the others. So we want to get the two other crocodiles in as fast as we can. Remember, when you're moving crocodiles, yeah. these animals can get stressed very easily. So Kyle wants to make sure the animals get in their new yeah. habitat and start to calm down so they can really maintain so that healthy know. lifestyle. May I? Sure. Thank you. Very exciting. Want to get a look? Oh, she's beautiful, man. Come have a look, folks. Here she comes. Heads up, guy. Oh, that's nice, bro. Man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Go on. Cool. Ah, oh, two down. Big one to go. What do you mean the big one? The big man. There's a bigger one. A lot bigger one. Great. <laughs> I'm excited to see what comes out of this crate. It's like Christmas, man. That thing is... Do you want to open it? It's like, it's like, <laughs> a, it's like the, the most nightmarish jack-in-the-box <laughs> you've ever seen, man. It's another day at Kyle's house. Bet you didn't think when you were guys becoming carpenters you'd be building crates for crocodiles. 
All right, so these are the final two screws, and this is the last croc here, and this is a big male, and he's gonna have his two gals. Now these animals were all kept together at Gatorama uh, in Palmdale. They're now moving into their new permanent home here at yep. Kyle's facility, and uh, it's pretty exciting, man. You're gonna have a lot of Niles, huh? Yeah, fair amount. Fair amount, as we mentioned earlier, you know, these are definitely um, an animal that, that has come into contact with human beings, but here, you know, Kyle is going to work with them and he's got a lot of plans for his crocodilians and training them and so on. So it's going to be really exciting to see this facility uh, yeah. grow, man. So let's let's do it. Let's get this All guy right. out here yeah. and see what we got. Where is he? Yeah, that's a big boy. And he has got that look of the Nile, you know, those, almost, they're not ears, but they sit behind the, uh, those crests on yep. the, behind the eyes. That's very distinctive. Tell Especially for, in the males. Uh, the males have a, a more pronounced. Yeah. What do they call those? I forget what they're called. All right, we're gonna call them uh, post-orbital crests. All right, post because they're That'll behind work. the eye. Sounds yeah. good, right? Okay, so uh, our lovely assistant's gonna tilt this guy. Now watch out, because it'll get 3D here real quick. This thing's gonna come right on out. You guys all right? <gasps> It's, you know what, like, you know, we get to work around these things all the time, but every, nothing prepares your brain for seeing a, a rather large Nile crocodile come sliding out head first out of a crate. Instinct tells you to get the hell away. It does, man. It's one of those animals like, you know, a king cobra, an elephant. It's an animal that just by looking at it, it demands respect. So here we are with this critter. He's probably a little bit disorientated with the move. You know, they've been in that, uh, their previous environment for quite some time, but it won't take long for these guys to acclimate, you know. And you're going to be doing a lot of adjusting here in I the am, coming I weeks. Am. So this was a situation where the time was up where they were. We had to get them into the new facility. Um, so obviously, you know, Kyle's got a lot of plans. There's going to be a lot of landscaping done around here. These animals are going to have a really nice habitat. But just look at that, man. I mean, that is an incredible animal. He's listening to us. I just saw his ears, ear flaps flutter. Yeah, I'll see if I can get him out. Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, we're going to goose him. Get him, Kyle. Let's see if he sees him. Oh, leave him be, look at this. Look at this. That's like looking back in time, man. Your girls are in there, buddy. Sick. Just like a male. He's not going under, man. He's gonna show you how big he is and respect. Holy man, there he goes. So you must be pretty excited, man, because you know these animals were living in a concrete pond, and uh, not a lot of people know that that can, if not done correctly, that can actually hurt the. Uh, it can. Crocodilians. They can develop osteomyelitis, which is an infection in the bone on their feet, because they keep scraping on that concrete repeatedly every time they want to get in and out of the water. Yeah, and you know your private facility, a lot of a lot of zoos are going to have you know very clean, pristine water. Uh, now this water is clean, but it's cloudy, and that actually is better for the animal, and it better illustrates to us exactly how these guys can hide and catch their prey. Look at this, look at this. I mean, if that doesn't show you, it's so incredible. So this is more like a naturalistic and will become more of a naturalistic facility, specifically private facility to breed different species of crocodilians. Thanks for letting me hang out and help yeah. you out there, bud. Hey, thanks for the help, I, I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So you have another episode of Camp Kennan. You met Kyle. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more exciting reptile and animal news. Talk to you soon. Welcome to the neighborhood, bud. <laughs> really. <laughs> I love it.